Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. I've got another just quick down and dirty video from a forum member post, our buddy Brad, uh, who is posting all the time and a really active member. Thank you, Brad. Uh, he's got a question here. Um, he's uh, been going through the Cinema Sound education all 85 hours, and he says, I have a track that is recorded in stereo, 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 <laughs> but with only one mic channel. I am looking for the best way to get a signal into the other channel. And he's talking about in Adobe Audition. I could not find it where you mentioned it. You mentioned something similar in another question. Take your stereo dialog track and create another track of it, some to mono, send that to the center channel. Uh, that's actually specifically talking about how to do some cool stereo panning. But what, what Brad's talking about is how do I get a single mono channel into both channels in Audition? And in previous versions of Audition, it wasn't so easy. But now in the 2018 version, and even I think the later 2017 versions, it's super dope easy. Let me show you how. Let's go here to audition. I've got a mono dialogue track here. It doesn't really matter what it sounds like, but only there you go, big deal. Um, and you can see though, it's mono and going stereo here, but mono, right? Phantom. Well, one of the really cool new additions to audition is that I can take this, and if you see here, this is these are mono, and that one's stereo as left and right. I can just drag this up here. The most daft daft and now it's smart enough to know, oh, I can get it out of both channels now. Or I can just slide it down, the most daft which is also super cool. And I, I want to show you something else which you may not be aware of. Um, let's see, do I have one of these as surround? So I can take this, this is a 5-1 channel down mix, and drop it in, and look what happens here. How many more do you have to kill? You're satisfied. It does an automatic stereo down mix. How dope is that? Or dope. If I hold down the option key, it will auto split ah. for me all these tracks. Look at center, LFE, and it's smart enough to know. Look at the top that left and right should go on a stereo track and left and right surround. So how there's no digital audio workstation that'll do this. Pretty awesome. But back to our point. Okay, so how would we want to, say, split that mono channel into two monos and make it a stereo file? Pretty easy. Let's double click on this actual file here. We come to the spectral editor. Easy. I command, or uh, sorry, control click or right click, and then convert sample type. And I say, and then this is where I go, okay, I want this to be 48K. I want it to be stereo, and I want it to be 24 bits. And I go bang. It goes bang, and now it's here. If I go back to this, the mix window, you can see that the mono DX file now has an asterisk, which means that it has been destructively edited, but not saved. But if I bring it to the stereo channel, you'll see now that I get this really cool thing. And if I bring it to the mono channel, ironically, it does the same thing. Tries to sail a sinking ship. And is smart enough to know to keep it mono. And this one also tries to sail a sinking ship. Is super cool and super mono. So again, another huge win for Adobe Audition 2018. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Cinema Sound and uh, uh, seeing you as members. Please ask more questions on the forum and uh, we can get more of these videos out to help everybody get that Hollywood value into their independent creative media. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're